I've met some amazing Paralympians during my sporting career, but Rob Matthews boasts quite a record. He's competed at seven Paralympics, winning eight gold medals. But what I love about this story is how he and his wife, Sarah, met. Perfectly in sync, these guys look like just another couple of joggers pounding along Auckland's Tamaki Drive. The guy on the right is celebrated British Paralympian Rob Matthews. With him, his guide, Nick Butt. I lost my sight gradually through my teens um, due to retinitis pigmentosa, or RP, and I really was incredibly shy, um, extremely unconfident. And then I started running, and it gave me, it gave me a sense of self-worth, self-value. Uh, I think the people who really helped as well were my guide runners when I started out. You only have to check out Rob's website to see how high profile he is in Great Britain and just how stellar his athletic career is. Running became Rob's passion. Just six months after taking up running, he set his first world record. It was the first of 22 world records. He's won 29 international medals, including eight Paralympic gold medals. One of his proudest achievements, an MBE for services to sport. I think running's really given me the, the, the life I've got. Rob's a Kiwi now, living in Auckland with wife Sarah and baby Thomas. Num, <laughs> num, num, num. Thomas is teething. He's chewing on one of his dad's <laughs> old braille watches. He's really inhaling the watch. <laughs> Ironic, really, because an antique braille watch forms part of the love story between Rob and Auckland interior designer Sarah. I went down to T-Rail to go to the place that I know has fabulous lights and I spotted this antique watch shop next door and I went into the guy and I don't know why I actually walked into the store because I wasn't seeing anyone and it's all men's watches and then I saw this thing, uh, this watch in the corner of the, of the glass cabinet and I said to the guy, can you get that out so I can have a look at it and I opened it and I was like, oh it's beautiful, it's Swiss and then popped it open and it was braille, and I thought, wow, I don't know why I'm looking at this, and $1,000, and I knew I had to buy it, and I had absolutely no idea why. Well, it was serendipity, really, because um, I, I came on holiday uh, to New Zealand, and um, we went to, uh, I was taken to the launch of the um, Earth Race boat, and after that um, reception, we, I, I went for a stroll along the viaduct, Anyway, I um, did buy it and um, I met Rob the next day. Yeah, we didn't stop talking for 26 hours or something. Uh, we just hit it off, there was an uh, immediate spark. And um, we went up to um, Greece and uh, we're, it was Rob's birthday and we, were in the staying, we went to this restaurant, beautiful castle in the background and I gave it to him then and um, yeah, and he proposed to me and it was all go really. So whirlwind romance <laughs> and uh, was meant to be I think. I wore it to our wedding actually, I was in you know, a smart suit and uh, had, had, the old, um, had the old watch on me which was, uh, which was really nice as well, you know, just, just to have it on display, you know. Now they're a family of four, completed by Rob's guide dog, Joy. As soon as I met Rob, within 28 months, well now 28 months on, um, you know, I'm married, um, we have a new home together, um, have a baby, we've done world travels. It's just been like a huge whirlwind of a change. Rob's happiness today is in stark contrast to the tragic and unexpected loss of his first wife in England five years ago. At the end of 2003, she, she died suddenly um, uh, due to a brain hemorrhage. So I spent the next year sort of, you know, I, again, I suppose I could have really felt sorry for myself, and and that that was the that was the hardest obstacle I've ever had to face. Running helped me again. You know, I, I think I might have gone mad had I not had to run into, you know, um, just focus my mind to get rid of a bit of um, pent up 
emotion. Rob knew his late wife Kath would have wanted him to compete at Athens. And, and that culminated in me thinking, you know, bloody hell, why don't I just, you know, do what I want to do? And, and the first thing I did uh, in that respect was come to New Zealand. All right, Kurt, let's leave it open. Oh, it's a bit chilly, mate. Forward. Rob loves the Kiwi lifestyle, but he reckons councils need to pay a little more attention to accessibility in the city. Just up the road from his Remuera home, Rob shows me a trouble spot. Tactile paving grids are supposed to provide safe crossing for the blind at intersections. This one faces the wrong direction. This, this should line, line me up, um, especially if I've got a white cane. Um, we're crossing straight over to the other side, yeah. but this is directing me into the oncoming traffic. Yeah, yeah, not so good then. No. And it's not the only one. It presents a challenge for anyone trying to navigate around the city. But Rob's used to dealing with life's obstacles. You have to be born with a certain tenacity. You know, there have been people during my life who've told me what I won't be able to do because I'm blind. And they've been a, a source of inspiration, really, because whenever anyone tells me that I won't be able to do so something, then I think, well, you just watch me. Oh, that's good. Anyone would think you work your shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> Rob's background as an elite athlete makes him the ideal sports masseur. That's, that's I can vouch good. for that. The display above his table is quite a conversation starter. I notice I've got a few medals up on the wall there, mate. Yeah. I've done seven Paralympics, won eight Paralympic golds, I've set 22 world records, and I've got, you know, nothing to prove. So, you know, now it's just my own whatever goals I want to set myself. Rob's now on the speaking circuit, sharing his story. My journey through life has taught me that anything, anything is possible. Being able to get across have to, do is to believe, people messages that, and, you know, you, do you don't give up when, when the going appears to be tough, mm -hmm. you know, and like I said before, you know, one person's uh, excuse is another person's challenge. Let's see if you want a bottle. As he revels in the active Just Kiwi lifestyle, Rob's forming a list of fresh challenges. I'd like to have a go at sailing, see if I'm any good at that. That's a, that's a, a challenge for me. Um, I'm not naturally a very good swimmer, but it, you know, it sound, it'd be quite a good challenge to swim to Rangitoto. I didn't mention that to you before. It doesn't look like Rob's about to slow down anytime soon. Well, he spent his whole life going fast. Why stop now?